Hey, hey, good morning to you. You versus Satan for your child. You versus Satan, and he wants your child. And in this video, I'm going to tell you two reasons why he's going after your child. And what could happen if he can win your child, take your child away from you. And it's going to be done in a way that, well, let me back up. I am um, in the school system, been in the school system for over 20, close 25 years, right at 25 years or more. And to see uh, the things that we see as educators on a daily basis and, and have been in it for as long as I have been in it, um, how different behaviors have changed over the years. And it's different now. Like I look at some of the kids and be like, what are they thinking? Like what's going on? It's like they have no fear. They don't care um, about, it seems, and I'm not saying this about all kids, but it seems as though that they just don't care. They don't fear anything. They don't fear authority. They don't fear their parents. They don't fear God. It's just, it's scary to see such a thing. And if you as a parent was in the school system and you can see, what your child has to go through on a daily basis, the peer pressures, um, just different things that is going on. Um, and I see a lot of it in the school system and teachers that are in there trying to do their job and, and, and giving their best. And um, it's, it's disheartening to see it that way. It's disheartening to see our young people um, under attack the way that they are. Now, let me share the two things that I feel that if Satan can win your child, what he's going, what he thinks he's going to accomplish. One, he may have been trying to get to you. And because he's not getting to you, he's going after your child. And he's attempting to get at you through your child. So if you're strong in your word and, and you're praying and, and you're doing the things that the Bible is asking you to do that God is calling you to do. And he feels that he can't get with you. Well, let me go after your seed, your child, the one that you will do and give anything um, to help out. The second thing will be if I can get your child, if Satan feels like he can get your child, your child is a part of the future. And I, and if he can infiltrate uh, your child's mind, at that young age, it's going to have a major effect on the future. And if your child gets married and have kids, now if your child has been indoctrinated in the ways of Satan, it can pass that on to other generations. So it is critically important that we fight for our kids. I don't have any biological kids of my own, but my students that I've uh, had the privilege of working with and coaching, training, teaching, um, pouring into uh, for over my career in education, I feel like those are my children. And I'm obligated just as well uh, to do that, to pray for them, to pray for our kids, to pray for their parents, to pray for um, uh, what's going on. And in my career, I've, I've had kids that students that have um, gotten in trouble students that have gone to prison, students that are in prison, students that will be in prison the rest of their life. The worst thing is I have had students that died, that lost their life because of being susceptible to the things that Satan is trying to do. So yes, he is coming after your child. So you are in a battle with him for your child, for your seed. And we must equip ourselves with the word of God and how to combat and how to battle that and do not let Satan steal your child. The word says, uh, train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they grow old, they will not depart from it. Again, I don't have any kids of my own and watching these kids and how they are so different. So different. Kids don't need you as their friend. Kids need you to be parents. Kids need you to set boundaries. Your child needs you to be, and they're going to respect that. They may not like it in the beginning, but they are going to respect that and see what they see, what you were doing for them. 
Now you can be the parent that you want to be a friend to your child. Um, or I don't, I can't even think of the term, not knocking it. Um, what's the term? Uh, the gentle parenting. Some parents feel like that's what they, they want to do. Train up a child in the way that they should go. When you, when they grow old, they will not depart from it. You may think your child will be going astray, but if you've done your best and you turn your child over to God, you've been praying and you've been training them up in the way that they should go according to God's word, God's word is not going to go void. But if you don't and you want to be friends and God forbid if something happened to your child, then are you going to be able to live with uh, your choice? Like, I chose to do that. So will you be able to live with the choice of uh, trying to be your child's friend? And again, I, I feel like there's a time and place for that. But if you are a parent and you're in the school system on a daily basis and you see what your child is up against, the words that we battle not with flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness and Satan is doing any and everything he can to get your seed, to get your child and to turn your child against you. So let's, let's stay prayed up, pray for our kids, covering our kids, pray for your child every chance you get when they're in the bed, sleep. If you have to go into the room, go into the room and lay your hands on them, pray and teach your children how to pray. There's never too young for that. Teach your kids how to pray. Cover your child. You are responsible for your child. Cover them in prayer. Sometimes when I'm in the school system and I see a kid acting up, I'll say a silent prayer and ask Lord. I say, Lord, this is your child. How do you want me to deal with them? How do you want me to handle that situation? Order my steps and how you want me to do that. Order my words, my thoughts about this whole situation. Just take a look around and see what's going on. You can see it. It's in the news. It's on social media. It's, it's scary to see what's going on with our youth, with our young people, with our kids. And the younger generation, that's our future. They are our future and we must protect our future so they can have a life that's better than what we have. And their, their, gener their kids and grandkids. I right, just want to share that with you. Um, as you can see, uh, some of the kids are going in now. So let me get in here and pray for your kids. All right. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you've been experiencing anything, if you got any comments, please, by all means, leave your comments. If you got any value from this video or any of my other videos, I invite you to um, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified each and every time that I drop a video. All right. Remember, I love you, but God loves you best. And prayerfully, I will see you in another video. All right, take care. God bless.